And we're back. Uh, in the last part, we got pretty upgraded. We swapped out our second beam for a second ion weapon. I think it'll work better overall. Got the weapon level necessary, got our drone control levels. Now we're mostly just looking for power levels, and I wouldn't mind getting to Shields 8 or Engines 8, of course. We also picked up a cloaking and hacking unit in the last part. Now we don't need to save, like, any money for stores, so it's just gonna be like a systems upgrade bonanza. Do I hate nebulas? Not really. Oh. Let's see. So they have... Looks like two missile weapons and an ion weapon. Could try to hack the station to prevent an alert. Stealthily access the space station, which doesn't require a drone part. Or just attack the ship, or do an RNG attempt to avoid the ship. Clearly, choices 1 and 3 are the superior choices here. I think I'll just cloak. Oh! Even cloaking can fail! Okay, it's two missile weapons. And they're the same types, so they'll fire at the same time, so a defense drone's only gonna block one of them at best. Oh, they also have mind control. I didn't really notice that when I was looking along here. Let's see, I think I want to take this out and put that in. First time they fire their missiles, well, our Zoltan shield can block it, but... Warning, intruders detected. Oh, it's their mind control. Now that our Zoltan super shield went down, they're capable of mind controlling. Alright, disable weapons for a bit just to cloak the missiles. Then I don't mind breaking Cloak to keep the Ion flowing in. I didn't actually target both of them. I think they automatically stopped firing, actually. I think Auto Fire isn't willing to fire through a Cloak. I could have turned Auto fighter Fire off if I really wanted to fire that moment, I guess. Uh, dodged a missile. Got hit by the other. Alright, not terrible. Salvage what you can from the broken ship, 56 scrap, and a bunch of fuel and scrap from the station. Nice rewards. Let's get that cloaking device repaired. Back to stations. What do we want to upgrade? The reactor, I think. Here, here, maybe here, depending on how the rebels are coming along. The thing is, this isn't a nebula sector, there's just a lot of nebula nodes at the left. So we're getting the full fleet pursuit reduction from them. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula. They fade into the nebula though. Let's attempt to follow them. Search fruitlessly and find the rebel ship which the loyalists were likely hiding from. Another weird lag spike. Okay, they've got a missile launcher. And probably a burst laser too at this point. Okay, we dodged half of their initial volley. Now let's take off more than half of their hull because Halberd Beam is really good. Zoltan Shield is doing work, blocking a missile. Today is yours. Show us your honor by allowing us to leave with our lives. Nah, I want scrap. Yeah, 53 is more than 35. Alright, more upgrades. Perhaps an expert player would still be thinking of what they want from stores and saving a bit. Oh! Find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby, the remains of battle. You begin to harvest some debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard, followed by the shouts of boarding party. They must have a super shield bypass unit. Intruders are on board. But there's no actual enemy ship. Which makes the, uh, 
Plasma Storm, a little less important. Alright. Let's just get four people in there and also start venting the atmosphere. Actually, wait. Let's vent it in this direction so that I can retreat in the direction of the med bay without suffocating further. Yeah. Need to open that last door. Okay. There's no oxygen in that room. Let's get everyone out. Start healing up people that are low. We do have level 3 doors, and easy mode makes doors stronger, so I'm not too scared. Plus, like, they'll be sorely disappointed with what happens by the time they break into our med bay. Oh, our oxygen is off because of the storm. I guess that's helping me vent the rooms faster, but I'll want to turn it back on soon so that I don't accidentally take suffocation damage I don't want to. I think there may no longer be intruders on board. Although, I guess- Oh, when the Zoltan left the med bay, it took the automatic Zoltan power out and depowered the med bay. I was like, how'd I get one power for the oxygen? Back to stations. Oh, uh, also close the doors. I guess I have to heal up again now. <laughs> Oops. Let's get the oxygen feeling filling in a bit faster by actually using both levels of our oxygen system. I really like nebula encounters, but I think they're worth doing. Oh, I could have upgraded more. Rebels appear to be waiting for me, and there's still a plasma storm. Our enemy has one bubble of shield going right now. And I think one layer of shields is sufficient to block their weapon. That's just a like a mini laser, a small bomb, and that's a hacking drone, I believe. Or, no, it's a defense drone. Even better. So we just need to hit them with any amount of ion. I guess, just in case I'm wrong about what laser weapon that is, let's get another shield bubble on. So we're just gonna hit them with the ion stunner and then the halberd beam. Okay, yeah, it fires two laser shots. trying to escape. If FTL is delayed, they probably pulled their pilot to start repairing something. Untarget the halberd beam. Oh, they do have enough shields. So because they powered down other things, they were able to power up their shields more. And the Ion Stunner doesn't seem to have enough fire rate to actually get all the way through. I think we need the actual Ion Blast 2 going. Fires a little faster than the Ion Stunner so it can stack with itself. Yeah, here we go. I think this is just victory. Megan accepts surrender. 66 scrap. Get just max reactor now. Oh. Counting is hard. Yeah, once we're no longer in a plasma storm, we're just gonna have so much power. It kind of insulates us from a future plasma storm, even. Although I think we got the bad end of rounding on those three levels. So it must round down, because I think we now have an odd amount of power bars over here. Okay, let's avoid some risk. 
So why is like this entire- Okay, we found a part of the nebula that's not in a plasma storm. Uh, we have plenty of drone parts. I don't think we need the fuel, but I'm just gonna take the trade anyway. Oh, hey, it's another plasma storm. Let's see, an automated rebel scout. Let's outrun it with our engines. I don't really feel like doing another plasma storm battle. Now we're out of the nebula. Okay. There was nothing going on. Oh yeah, I bought so much power. Of course, one more could let us turn on two drones. Probably like a defense drone and a combat drone. Or we could put more in hacking. So like, I do want the next power bar still. Okay, let's inquire about a specialty of a ship construction platform. They would be willing to upgrade the oxygen system for 36 scrap, but I kind of spent all the scrap. So I don't think we need Oxygen 3. Automated Rebel Ship, oblivious to the heat. Alright. So shield Blocks Missile. Zoltan's shield is down. Okay, they ionized something? Oh, our oxygen. That's probably fine. Our ship was full of oxygen. Okay, that's on fire, but an NG are really good against fires. Dodged a missile. I could hack something, but I don't think it's necessary. I'm about to, like, devastate their ship. Yeah, their missiles got turned off. I get my oxygen's back on. Let's turn it on even more in case they. Oh. I was gonna say, in case they ionize our oxygen again, we'll have it more filled up. Letting the ion on the shield dissipate before I jump. Yeah, let's hit the distress test. Distress beacon. I think we have time. Okay, let's go down. Oh. Are we okay with going down to the surface to investigate for a single life form? I think we could lose crew here. I'd rather not lose my current crew. This may have been a mistake. I may be diving at the end. Which you kind of don't want to do right before the flagship. Now, let's counter the remote hacking. Although. So they're trying to shut down engines. Their weapon combo is unlikely to get through, but they could if they stack enough ion shots. So yeah, let's turn off our hacking to turn off their hacking. Avoid potentially devastating amounts of damage. Because I think with... 48% dodge, they're gonna have trouble actually stacking their ion shots. Oh, that's a 2 damage ion. Okay, that's just mind control. They did mind control a mantis, which is rude. But, you can turn off their mind control. With a beam! Okay, good luck repairing your shields. Well, I continually stun you. I'm trying to swipe the beam through the crew members, just in case the damage actually matters. Don't think it will, considering the next time I hit their ship, it just destroys it. Got him! Alright, I've destroyed the ship. Power, buffer cloaking point, last hacking point. Wouldn't mind more shield or engine levels, but I think we can beat the flagship with this. I'm least sure about, like, the uh, second phase. I don't know if they have an anti-drone drone, but they definitely have a defense drone, so we can't just hack their shields. 
So we actually will have to use our ion weapons, but the flagship has good engines. And there was a pirate ship. Oh, I didn't actually heal my crew. Bit of laziness, probably not gonna matter. They're still at, like, 75% or above. Oh yeah, I should actually target my weapons now that they're not cloaked. I could probably just be hacking them, but I don't think we need to spend any resources in this battle. But also, like, what am I saving my 32 drones for? a missile. Okay. We dodged it. Breach? I guess... Can asteroids breach? They just got hit by an asteroid. Nah, not accepting surrender. I want your scrap from your entire ship. Not just the scrap in your cargo. <laughs> yeah, this jump's gonna be a dive. This jump's gonna be a dive. I think the exit beacon itself might be safe. Free stuff. I interrupted a mantis salvage operation. Let's see. Island Blast 2. Yeah, that's too much power, though. Before we do our dives. Doop. 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 That was five repair. It randomly rolls from three to five. So that's guaranteed that this drone will fill us up. Probably shouldn't have used the second drone, but no need to take any risks. We have plenty of drone parts. <laughs> kind of the opposite of what I was saying in the last battle. So yeah, two dives and then I think that might be safe. Maybe it'll also be engulfed. All right, wouldn't mind a second level of cloaking here. I can mess with power after we see what the encounter actually is. Okay, they do have an ASB here. Two missile launchers, a beam, and a laser. If I keep my shields to full, I think only the missiles plus the ASB are gonna matter. I'll hack their weapons, and we're just gonna try to retreat. I don't need the one fuel. I can't remember if the ASB actually, like, pierces Zoltan shields. I just let them fire their weapons. Should have been watching their weapon energy more closely. ASB target is locked. That's probably what I actually wanted to cloak, but we made it out. Oh, actually, the exit will be engulfed. I was miscounting how many jumps would actually... Yeah. I was offsetting it by an entire jump. Okay. They have one missile le weapon, ASB is locked. Our cloaking is on cooldown. Oh, let's, uh, get this in their weapon system. Oh, they just fired! Well, our Zoltan shield's still up. Oh, and we dodged the missile. Okay, they are intruding somewhere. Or are they mind-controlled? No, this is an actual intruder. Like, the mist that, like, went along with the ASB shot. Alright. Bye! Found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. How surprising. Wait, they don't even have... There's no ASB and there are no missile launchers. I could probably just kill them, but what's the point? It's worth one fuel. Alright, the last stand! Here we go! We explained that the rebel flagship is weak to bullets. Or something like that. 
It's like, have you considered shooting the flagship? Alright, the base is there. Probably gonna take that path. So I think we can swing up to the repair and then take this path. Get some free resources up here. Yeah, 30 scrap. Wouldn't have minded a store on the way to the base. I guess we might still find one. Okay, there's a ship Federation ship or something in combat. Yeah, what was I doing being careful at all with my uh, drone parts? Yeah, I will just work to prevent their missile from firing. I guess maybe hacking the shields would have been a more efficient way to use the hack. We can cloak their first missile shot. Oh, well. Guess his shields are down. It's the enemies. Oh, we also don't even need to cloak the first missile shot because we have a Zoltan shield. I didn't want to stop my own weapons from firing, so I didn't cloak. Okay. Oh no, they've hacked our cloaking! What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna destroy them. 61 scrap. Alright. Can get Reddit engines almost. Maybe by the time we actually reach the flagship. Oh. Fourth shield bubble might be a better investment. But it doesn't dodge missiles. I'm still gonna go with it. For now, it's just a buffer point in engines. I guess I'm taking this path because this node's about to be gained control of. I don't want to fight a uh, actual, like, dive type of fight. I think I have time for this store. I could sell my um, system repair ion blast. Let's actually get the whole repair swap back out. Let's see here. Yeah, the rebel ship has to wait three turns at the base or something. So let's see, it moves as we jumped up to the store, then we move back, and then we jump here, and on that jump, it jumps to the base, and then we catch it at the base. So we totally have time for the store. Main risk is if this node gets taken over. I'm gonna go for it, though. Okay, valuable technology is apparently for sale, allegedly. So I don't need those, got some scrap. Do you have any augments? No. We have an anti-drone drone. Stunts combat drones attacking the ship. Could get a rock crew member. Is that better than whatever I could upgrade on my ship? I could get shields four. Or rather, shields eight, which is the fourth sh bubble. I think I'm gonna prefer this. Never got advanced medbay. Sometimes I like that for blue options. All right. What am I willing to actually turn off to get that last bubble turned on, though? Let's see, we don't actually want both levels of cloaking. So that we can time with their super weapons better. Oh, this node's being taken over. I mean, I can jump to here instead. I mean, I have those hull repair drones. What's the worst that happens? I guess I lose a crew. Oh, let's don't risk activating and just strip the ship. Also, let's finally get our people medical. Yeah. <laughs> Healed. That's the word. <laughs> okay, then we jump to here. And the rebels are on the base. Let's leave those alone. Okay, what do I do with 73 scrap? Well, I could have bought the rock crew in the past. So let's just go back and remind me to do that. Alternative play... Second oxygen buffer? Medbay 2 might actually be worthwhile, come to think of it, for the boarding phase in phase 3. Turns until the base is destroyed 3. But we're there. It's fine. 
Alright. This monstrosity. If the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving, there's no turning back. Right, they always cloak right away. So you don't need the medbay on right now. Gonna hack their shields, I think. Gonna aim my eye on weapons at their shields as well. Gonna dodge their missiles with our 108%. Alright, between hacking and ion, we've reduced their shields to zero. Do I want this swipe, or do I just go for a swipe that deals more, more hull damage? Like, hitting the shields, the crew member in this... I mean, this is all pretty good. But it's only hitting three rooms. This is a five room swipe? No, four rooms. Counting is hard. Just looking for anything better. This at least goes through their hacking. I'll do this one. So we accepted not hitting their scary missile weapon in order to deal twice as much hull damage. Oh, they hacked our hacking! I was trying to turn on my hacking, but it's hacked. I think they're about to cloak. I'm just gonna fire my halberd beam. And then detarget my halberd beam so that I don't waste the next shot. And. Oh! Hacking my hacking also destroyed the drone I had attached to the ship. I guess we've seen that I don't really need the hacking drone in order to beat phases of the flagship, though. I guess it did help initially. Got some damage in. What am I doing? I'm putting the whole repair drone back in. Eh. Topping off, because why not? Get our defense drone back out. Let's see. Turn a hacking off. We're not going to use it next phase. What else do we turn off? Maybe one level of engines. Last phase is going to be tough with all the boarding that'll go on. We might try for some kidnap strats where I um, jump away from the base because the rebels will be away from the base. But so, for now I just wait. And then after I defeat phase two, assuming I do, I jump to where the enemy flagship is. Except I think they'll jump back to the base at the same time I do. Or maybe it takes them around. Yeah, there is one round in the middle, after you drive them off. Okay, it's re redirected considerable power to drones. Due to their defense drone, unless we exploit the trick, we can't actually get a drone of our own through. Combat drone, defense drone, with our power. Yeah, they do have no anti-drone drone. drone. ionizing them super successfully. Oh, wait, there it is. Wait, how did we take damage? Our shields are fully up. Oh! They have a... Wait. No, nothing's breached. I was thinking we got boarded by one of the boarding drones. I don't know what just happened. 
Anyway, let's like deal tons of damage. See, I haven't heard their laser weapon go off yet. See, I don't have to repair that oxygen right away. still have a little left. Let's cloak their super attack. Oh. My own attacks disrupted my own cloak. I thought that got stopped automatically. Maybe I just didn't properly, like, like read how much... Um, get everyone in the shield room to fight off that drone real fast. Let's get the Zoltan out of there so he doesn't die, because Zoltans have no health. Alright, Halberd Beam's ready to destroy. Why did I hit two again after I was done targeting? I don't know. Alright, we've got the upper hand. So we have a couple breaches to fix. Let's get our oxygen all the way back on. Let's uh, actually get our hull repair drone out. Do some hull repairs. Let's see, I think if I open this door with having oxygen level two, these rooms will both be breathable. Let's get our mantis healed. No, they'll both be not breathable. How many rooms do you have to add? Maybe you'll need oxygen three? Right, let's just get in there and start repairing and we'll see what happens. Oh wait, it's because it's two breaches, we can't actually balance it out. All right, but we filled the room back in with oxygen pretty fast once the breaches were dealt with. Healed up, turn our med bay back off. Oh, use another drone part for a hull repair. Hull repair doesn't need to keep going, back to stations. Shield's fully on. Could turn hacking back on. Could try to get an upgrade somewhere. Engines would give me the flexibility to turn my engines on even further, especially after taking this point back out of oxygen. Um, hmm. Alternative plays, piloting in case I need to uh, leave the piloting chair with someone to help fight would give me 80% of my normal evade, even without a pilot, because autopilot. Also, just buffer points in piloting are pretty cool. Buffer point in cloaking to make sure my cloaking system never goes down could be cool. Let's actually get med bay 3 and sensors? I don't think those sensors are going to help us win. But this is the phase where we get boarded, and we haven't dealt with any of the enemy crew. So the med bay may be key. Yeah, they've transferred power to a teleporter, as well as some kind of super weapon, as well as also a Zoltan shield. Now let's turn our engines on the rest of the way. I don't know, if it looks like it's going well, we might just kill him here. But we can retreat back to the base after we're boarded and uh, try to fight off whoever's inside our ship. Oh, wait, I cloaked entirely the wrong thing. At least I have a Zoltan shield. Okay, right now they've both mind-controlled and teleported. Oh, that's awkward. All right. Just keep pausing, because I'm like, 
What's even going on right now? Some missiles got through. Yeah, three levels of shield is enough for everything they can do with that laser weapon. Although not with the super weapon. But let's remember to actually save this for the super weapon. Hmm. Let's actually... Well, let's hack him. <laughs> this seems good. Power surge detected, but we know what to do about that. Turn our weapons off so we don't accidentally... You know. Okay. Didn't want to, um... Interrupt our cloak. Neither of the high-value damage swipes are remaining. But we disabled their teleporter with that. Let's see, our medbay isn't even on. They're attacking that room. No, we can't cloak that, even if we wanted to. Oh. Nice shield hack when the enemy has no shields currently on. Disabling the mind control seems pretty cool. Oh, I could have still sent that through the teleporter room. Alright, how's everyone's health doing? Fine enough. Our weapons are on fire. Let's get another NG up there. Let's actually take this down. Oh, I think we actually killed one of the enemy crew. Oh, uh, poke that. Let's get a hull repair going. Stuff is damaged enough that we suddenly have power. So you don't actually need to turn the shields back on any farther. But I'm not going to be doing very much winning without my halberd beam going. Am I on fire? Or is there an intruder in there? Yeah, let's definitely get the mantis in here. I think I need to be able to see. I need to heal people. Alright, the ion stunner isn't even being fired. Oxygen is both down and on fire. And my door control system is down. This is bad, but we're not out of it. And we only need one more laser swipe and we win the game. And most of their crew is dead. I think we can actually win the game without needing to repair our oxygen. Oh, except there's Ulton's super shield came back up. Alright, but we're hitting it with two ion weapons. And I forgot to turn off my halberd beam, but their shield went down just in time anyway. We won! Our ship was pretty okay, everybody survived. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it for this part. That was a little more exciting at the end than I thought it would be with the first two phases going as well as it did. But, I mean, we didn't kill any of the crew. It's really nice to have, like, a fire weapon or something. See, how do you skip this? Left-clicking isn't doing it. Okay, escape does it. So, uh, yeah, we ensured the victory of the Federation once again. Let's just check what our new ships... Wait. We didn't get the stealth ship. Our new singular ship looks like. So, let's see. Compared to the A layout... We lose a level of engines. We lose sensors entirely. Gain a weapon, but this is a different ion weapon. Lose most of the crew. Down to a single NG. However, there are two system repair drones, which will run around and automatically repair stuff, as well as a personnel drone 
for fighting on your own ship. It's not a boarding drone. See, drone reactor booster, your shipboard drones have their movement speed increased by 25%. So I guess you're meant to ion and laser things. I think this is one of most people's bottom three ships. I think it's like NGB, Stealth B, and... Uh... Maybe one of the slug layouts? I don't remember the third one that's considered bad. Huh. So anyway, we've got two B layouts unlocked now. Uh, let's see, what'll be the ship for next time? Preferably one of the two ships we haven't had a victory on. Which would be either the Kestrel, which we haven't played in quite some time, or another try at the Mantis. I think the Kestrel would be the obvious choice. Burst Laser 2 is a fine weapon. I think I'll go for the A and or the first two achievements on this ship as well, the C achievement. Seems like something I don't want to try to set up. Yeah, we'll have to remember that we actually want a backup battery, basically. Because it's main systems and subsystems count for that. And then six unique aliens, I'm always trying to get unique aliens. So we'll hope we luck into that. Anyway, that's it for this part. See ya!